Hi, I'm Carl. And I'm Marie, and this is Sarah. And today we're answering your questions for Orca Guardians Iceland. Today's topic species interaction. So we called this topic species interaction because it involves interactions with different species. That includes <laughs> things like feeding and encounters with other whales too. First question from Florian was, the whales in British Columbia seem to be struggling to find any kind of food. Is that something we see in Iceland? I wouldn't necessarily say so. We have a very strict quota on the herring fishery here and the orcas, they are pretty good in following the herring around. Um, and some or we know from quite a lot of uh, individuals by now that they can also switch their prey so for example the orcas that we have migrating to scotland they can feed on seals there they feed on seals there in the summertime and they feed on herring here in the winter time but we have also recorded other um, individuals here that have switched to different uh, fish species or even sometimes they feed on the eider ducks so they they're not that all so super dependent on on one source they are not that limited as maybe orcas in other parts of the world. And you actually worked in British Columbia for a while. Do you, did you notice any difference between the condition of the whales in BC and the ones we have here? Yeah, so after I came to Iceland um, and I had worked in protecting the south and resident orcas, there was this huge difference that I could see in what the orcas here looked like. So they're, they're so much fatter here, they have so much more blubber and they look very healthy and they don't look malnourished at all in comparison to the Canadian orcas. So this is a super long question from Steve. He says, Orcas, apex predators of the oceans, very nice, known for taking down great white sharks, blue whales, beaked whales, grey whales, humpbacks, you name it. So what on earth is going on with pilot whales? Question mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> Why are they so scared of pilot whales? And could you please tell us more about the encounters you've witnessed with the pilot whales chasing the orca? Great question. That is a very tricky question, by the way. So there's uh, uh, a lot of speculation still going on about this. Why are the orcas and the, the pilot whales interacting in that way? Um, so there have been studies about this where the sound of the pilot waves was played back to the orcas and the orcas were uh, leaving the area really quickly and then on the other hand um, the sound of orcas was played back to the pilot waves and the pilot waves came straight towards the boat so straight to where the noise was coming from and that was a, a study in the mediterranean so that was not in iceland uh, but that was like one of the studies where you could really clearly see that there is some straight interaction going on there and that has to do probably with the noise that the pilot waves are making so when they are in these huge numbers they're often also outnumbering the orcas and um, they're probably much louder than they are and then there's the other thing about food competition because this summer what we did witness on one of the trips quite clearly I would say was that the orcas were feeding in an area and then all of a sudden they started grouping up as the pilots wa pilot waves came in and they kind of chased the orcas out of the area but just so much until they got to the point where the orcas were feeding before and then the pilot whales themselves started feeding so there is something going on about food competition maybe possibly we haven't seen in that encounter what they were feeding on uh, but it's all quite exciting so we're still about to discover a lot more about this i know i said everything because you didn't get to say anything <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone for all your questions and for listening to our videos. Like and subscribe to Orca Guardians for more interesting content coming up soon.